I'm Mark Penn, head coach of Florida Tech men's lacrosse. Uh, this is my first year at the helm of the Panthers. It's my fifth season in Melbourne. There's no place else I'd rather be. I've got the best job in college lacrosse, coaching and working in paradise with the best athletes in the country. I know exactly where this team should be, and it's up to me to lead this group to where they belong. So. It's a great group at Florida Tech. 2019 season should be great. We're on the prowl and we're looking for big things. So returning from the summer back on campus, there's always this energy of everyone's ready to get back after it, play lacrosse. There's a group of probably 10 of us out there shooting, getting extra reps in, live play, just getting the ball up and down the field, which is out there trying to get better, getting ready for the spring season. So coming back this fall, everyone's testing score was really great. Everyone was able to improve from what they did last year. Really showed dedication and everything we did in the off season. Yeah. Weezy, I Just to blow it in the mall doesn't mean that we involved. I just what? I just uh, put a Richard on the card. I ain't go playing ball, but I'll show you how to gotta do it if you really wanna ball. Till you're five and you're back against the wall, and a bunch of need you to go away. Still going bad on them anyway. Saw you last night, but did it all day. Yeah, a lot of murk coming in a hard way. But got a sticky and I keep it at my dog's place. Girl, I left you loving magic, not saw shade. Still going bad on you anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. I can feel like 80 rats in my Marys. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. Back back. If you fucking with my eyes, just don't come near me. Get out my way. Put some bins all on your head like Jason Terry. Whoa. 
Rich and Millie cause a Lambo. A Lambo. Known to keep the better d- on commando. Salute. Every time I'm in my trap, I move like Rambo. Ain't a neighborhood in Philly that I can't go. That's a Fendi. For real. She said, Oh, you rich, rich. You rich, rich. I graduated, call me Ben Fish. Ballin'. I got Lori Hurry on my wish list. That's, Lori. That's the only thing I want for Christmas. So the captains and I uh, were in class one day. Uh, we're pretty good with time management, so we uh, we had some some time in the latter half of class to uh, to kind of piece this together. But um, we put together a workout in which we wanted to really kind of incorporate uh, the warm environment, the the ocean, just the awesome beach that we have here at Florida Tech, to build camaraderie within our team and and kind of push forward uh, in early fall towards. Uh, just a closer team, uh, just just building that camaraderie um, and coming out with something greater after after the workout was finished. Every day I spend my time drinking wine, feeling fine, waiting here to find the sign that I can understand. Yes, I am. So every day I spend my time drinking wine. In my mind, body, soul, and prison. My eye, probably going ballistic, but listen, I'm missing a couple of screws. They ain't never do drilling, Drew. You've been sipping away at the truth. A double side of wisdom with do, do, do. Rolling, do, hit, switch, rolling, this, blowing, kiss, to the pit, the toll of business. What's the business? Beat the system, go to business, blow the sentence, go to prison, go to church, and pray the Father, Lord, forgive us. And only God can judge me, yeah. and He don't like no ugly. I look so cool, I'm good, most of Buddy. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit. Uh-huh. I know I plead the fifth. I tell her, holla if you need some. Need some the devotion is getting hopeless, but hold it. I'm getting close as my soul is. I'm seeing ghosts. The solo is now a poet. Hypnosis, overdose on potions. Adjusting to the motions and getting out of my Every emotions. Every day I spend my time drinking wine. This year we made an initiative to get our box fundamentals up, learn the concepts, get a little gritty, and we decided to go to Liberty Park every Friday, right after a Friday lift, and we split into three teams, we learned the concepts, and then we had a round robin tournament which led to a championship game where we were playing for the Melville Cup. Box lacrosse is also a great break from practice because you learn a lot doing it, but it's also fun and a change up in the practice plan, so that really helps keep the momentum for the season going.
Having the alumni here this, this fall for our alumni game, our uh, best attended alumni game today was very exciting. But more than that, it was great to see how excited they were for our team. And when they got to play us, you could see that they knew what we had going on. Alumni weekend at Florida Tech is always a great time. We won our Florida Tech football game, we had an awesome concert, and then in the morning on Saturday we had an awesome alumni game. Alumni Weekend was a chance for us upperclassmen to kind of show the alumni how we've kind of taken over the program and showed them how much we care about this program and how they left it in good hands. So every fall we look forward to the Tampa tournament and we, we grind all, all off season in the weight room, on the field, on the beaches, conditioning, all for the, the, this Tampa tournament and the, there's nothing better than waking up early that day, going out and playing five games back to back with the boys.
Uh, the box and cross influence is something we've been uh, trying to infuse here at Florida Tech. All right. We were fortunate to have a rink and a place to go play and big buy-in from our team, our players wanting to learn those type of, of fundamentals and those nuances and they went out and embraced it and I think we grew from being out there. I must admit, I can't explain. In the concrete jungle, you gotta be tough, you gotta know what you're doing. In a small space, in a phone booth, stick skills have to be strong, you have to play in the collarbone, your pick and roll game has to be on and small ball movement works. You also have to finish in tight spaces. I think our goalies learn from it. I think our defensemen learn from it with a short stick in their hand. And I think we all had a lot of fun. Uh, the Melbo Cup was a highly contested championship affair. And it's something, a tradition that our guys started. Again, another legacy that they leave, but this year the box lacrosse infusion definitely rose our level of play. And we'll only find out in the spring whether or not it made us a championship team. We decided to develop the Melbourne Cup because it only raised the states and make sure that people were playing for something. The winners would get their names put on the trophy. To look back on all those people that have made such of an impact on this program and to maybe see one of their names on that trophy will bring light on the program on how far it's come and um, how far we're willing to work to achieve success. So our very last day for the fall ball season, we had a full team scrimmage, and it was really cool seeing from like where we started to where we ended up and how well we, and how strong we finished the fall ball going into the spring.
I told you guys yesterday, I personally feel like this has been a great fall. Uh, we all know the spring season is a journey. It's a long road, but ultimately we hope it's a road that leads to Philadelphia, to Memorial Day weekend, to the national championship. That's the ultimate goal of the program. If that's not our goal, then we're not working hard enough. Uh, coming off two years in a row where we've made um, the conference playoffs and have aspired into national rankings has been something really, really cool that I'm happy to have been a part of. You know, for this year we have the same exact goals just to push even further to, to win the conference and to kind of push into the higher national rankings and, and get in the tournament and go even farther than, you know, some conference opponents have in the Take past. Three. One, two, three. Technology! Hey. Oh, yeah. It's technology. Paul, by telling you just a quick, true story. There was a guy who lived in Africa, a farmer, and his whole dream in life was to find diamonds, right? He heard about people finding diamonds throughout Africa in riverbeds, and he owned this farmland. And but he wanted to find diamonds so bad that he sold off his entire inheritance, he sold off all his land, and he went out looking for diamonds. Spent the rest of his life toiling, wasting, never found anything. Meanwhile, the guy who bought his land was out farming his goats one day, coming through a riverbed, saw a weird rock in the river. Picked it up, didn't know what it was, took it in, it turned out to be the biggest diamond ever found on earth. And the biggest diamond mine was in that guy's backyard. If you ever think that what you want, you, you have it right under you. The diamonds we're looking for, they put them on your finger and they got a whole big batch of them. And I can tell you, I remember being back at Salisbury University before there were diamonds on ring, on hands. There was nothing to find. And then a guy named Jim Bergman came in and now it's a closet full of diamonds. And they were all there the whole time. That's you guys. Find your diamonds where you are. Don't go looking for them anywhere else. Right here. And I'm telling you, after this fall, you got to know that we got a diamond mine right here. And we're going to find them. We just got to keep digging and keep digging. And keep searching in your own place. Don't look outside. Don't think about anything outside of this group. We got what we need right here. And this fall should tell you. And I'm telling you, man, as a coach, come out of this fall, I'm really, really excited. I feel like we're ready to go. Another one bison dust. Big queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should probably filming this. Right. Halftime report, Tyler Covey. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Rough first half, down by one, but we got the boys with us, so we're going to get this dub in the second half. Great, great. What were you thinking going in for that last goal there? Well, I knew how I was going to bite him on the other side, so I brought it back over near the pipe. He wasn't there. No brainer. All right, thanks. Rick interview real quick. What do you need? Quick interview. 
How's it going? Uh, yeah, uh, Dan Flock, uh, Nick Bailey here. Who's your least favorite person on the team? Uh, I'm not gonna say that. I don't have least favorite person on the team. All the guys are unique. New York. I don't know, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the, uh, <laughs> yeah. being honored. It feels, it's, uh, it, uh, my bro brothers. I'm from the, all right, all right, so, um, so being honored as a captain this year has been really, uh, 